Good ground for a big fight, but not much cover. Stockade. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. Look at that. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. The secret is in the spices. The fewer arrows you have, the better for us. Most megkapod!
Hmm? Are you looking for someone? Hey, hey! Who's huh? there? Good to see you, lad. Sir Hanush told me you won his tourney. Good job, Henry. Sir, I've been to Ujits, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. I went to Ujit, where they told me I could find Lubosh. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair is becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them, a crony of Limpy Lubosch's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Nadechko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosch and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whoresons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area, and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sakra. Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown, ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. It used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Medic attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications, that's quite a different matter from routing some rabble out of the woods.
I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. There's quite a few of them there. Perdition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them. But underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just what we need. I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. We need more like you. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take all his men. Leave only the bare minimum at the castle and march to Pribislavitz. I'll take everyone but for one or two sentries. Hopefully together we'll have enough men to defeat them. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you. Farewell. Wait a moment. Lord, what have I...
Wait a moment. You're him, right? The boy from Scarlet's? You're the young fellow who came here from Scarlet's half dead, aren't you? Yes, that'll be me. Why? The lady of the castle was asking after you. She wants to talk to you. Ah, I'll go and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. May the Lord watch over you. God bless you. What troubles you? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzik wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzik wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzik is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzik said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? Everyone? There really are a lot of them, Sir Divish. He's leaving the camp almost empty, too. We're to go and join his people in Pribislavitz and mount an assault together. All right then. Sir Radzik knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. Good luck to you. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did, but I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force, and right under our noses? We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way, then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers, it's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. Well, I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march. Advance! To the bridge, quickly! 
Get to the other side, as many of you oh, as possible. Yeah. And hold your Forward. position there. Mark. Some of you take the left flank. Yeah. We'll attack in two flanks at once. Ugh. Oh! Ugh. Before we're all shot! Buster up! Forward! Man! Hold here! Not another step! Together. Deal with those archers before we're all shot!
Advance! Go, You go out, you dogs! Drive them back! <laughs> I will cleave you in two, you bastard. You tried before, and yet here I am. What? Who the hell are you? You don't remember me? I remember you, though. Now, where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What sword? Hang on. You're the... Fuck! Muster up! No! 
lost shot. You go out, you dogs! Drive them back!
I will cleave you in two, you bastard. You tried before, and yet here I am. What? Who the hell are you? You don't remember me? I remember you, though. Now, where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What sword? Hang on. You're the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy. for a peasant brat. It's not over yet, you scum. Now where's my sword? What have you done with it? <laughs> Talk, you bastard! I'll see you in hell. Tell me, do you hear me? Tell me what you've done with it! I'd say you're flogging a dead horse there. You took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? If we'd taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. And there were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, 
We live to fight another day, eh? That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratte, and then decide what to do next. But come what may, you did a good job today. I will make you pay for this. It's time for the next part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir. Come on.